Mladen Jovanović from complementarytraining.net here. In previous video, I've, I've been talking about differences and similarities between undulating uh, programming and traditional programming. And in this video, I want to touch a little bit how you can implement that in a strength card builder uh, 4. So first of all, we're going to clean out the workout card. So we're going to clear up and we're going to select one of the athletes. So let's say athlete six. And we're gonna create two workouts. Uh, so first one is gonna be um, say Monday and and say Tuesday. And we're gonna create uh, so it's upper body session. Same here, upper body session. Uh, and we're gonna we're gonna use a bench press as an example. So that's upper body horizontal push actually, push and we're gonna select the exercised uh, bench press, the same thing here, bench press, uh, okay so usually we, we, we might prescribe two uh, set and rep schemes that, that are different, um, using a traditional one, so one one could be uh, let's define quickly some some traditional one. I'll put another category. So put this. Um, okay, back to certain rep schemes. So not sure. Yeah, we need to refresh this. I'm gonna quickly define something. So let's call it uh, traditional one, traditional two, test. Uh, so this could be, uh, say, um, a top set uh, could be, uh, say, 75% times five. And then the next, I would say, next stage, next progression could be uh, 78. That's five. And that could be 80. Five, five, five. So I'm just gonna do this here. Well, for a traditional one, in this case, let's go So in the first case, we are increasing intensity in terms of percentage used. So that's a, uh, that's a single progression. And in this case, we are increasing number of reps. That's usually called a double progression. So um, we are increasing number of reps. And then uh, uh, in the next cycle, we might increase the percentage or we might test the, um, so let's say we might test the uh, 1RM. Uh, so not 1RM, but we might, we might have an open set here. So let's call this 82. 82 and 82. So this could be 5, 5, 5. Sorry, I need to do it like this because of the Excel formats differently. Um, same here, 7. This could be open set, and I'll, I might do open set here immediately because it's easier, and then we might go for six, something like that. Uh, if you go to a workout card, I think I need to refresh, or why not? So, uh, category, uh, test, and we're gonna use, maybe, yeah, I need to refresh. So 
افتاد شما traditional tool so now we have uh, two workouts and I'll quickly show you just copy paste these guys uh, so yeah so using the using the traditional one we might have a workout a and workout uh, B so this could be um, so or a and a or this could be a um, pause bench press something like that and then we have uh, two two set and rep schemes um, and they are progressing from from each workout so the next every workout is a next level of, of progression so let's try to define undulating scheme so I'll just call this back here and I call this undulating Set the next skin. I might find it here. So let's isolate in one. Let's call it two and three. Sometimes make someone Mac bugging a little bit. So let's let's define. So the first workout could be doing sets of, of uh, 10, so three sets of 10. At, let's say 65%. And then we might go for uh, 75%. Sets of five. Um, 80%. So even with the undulating, you can you can have decreasing um, decreasing uh, number of reps or be, being more linear, sort of. And you can you can really be uh, jump jumping up and down. So this could be eighty five. I'm really conservative in this case, as you might see. And what we're gonna do? We're gonna shift these. So. I, just gonna copy paste this here. This here. So what I did, we go sixty-five, sixty-five. Why is this double percentage? Beyond me. So we have sixty five, seventy five, eighty, eighty five, seventy five, eighty, eighty five, sixty five, and eighty, eighty five, sixty five, seventy five. So we pretty much shuffled, so um, we can apply these two. So let me just refresh pivot table, go to workout card, and in this case, we might prescribe undulating, and we might go for undulating one. In this case, undulating, and we might prescribe undulating. Two. So those are different iterations. If you have, um, so if all, the whole exercise is in one one workout as using um, single undulation, and that's quite, I would say, not really common. So different exercises of different categories might use different uh, undulating programs. Uh, but if if all of them um, are using the same, so you, you might set up the undulating one, undulating one, undulating one, all across, and undulating two, undulating two here, um, and that's going to cover from pretty much from workout to workout um, undulation, and you're just going to uh, repeat the workout. Um, and now we have uh, undulating workout, so so we have ten, five, three, two, and we have five, three, two, ten, 
and if we have another exercise um, we might just select a different undulating pattern uh, the strength card builder is pretty much built with traditional I would say programming in mind but using this tweak you can apply undulating undulating approach as well thanks for watching and enjoy using the tool